If you're watching this video, then you have Windows Vista or Windows 7 Home Edition. If you do not have Home Edition, we ask that you refer to the video labeled Windows Vista or Windows 7 Pro. So we need to create a username of VizHub and give VizHub a password. So we're going to go down to the Start button. We're going to go to Control Panel. and scroll through until you find user accounts double click and if it comes up to a specific account like this we want to find the link that says manage another account now we're going to create new account we're going to name this account bizhub b i z h u b click create account Now select the BizHub user, click create a password. The password we're going to use is going to be exclamation point, uppercase P, A S S W O R D, exclamation point. Put it in the second box also to confirm. And we're just going to put the password hint as copier. Um, that password is a particular one that we use a lot. Um, for a default password just for scanning. Now click create password and now we've created a username named bizhub with a password of exclamation point uppercase p a s s w o r d exclamation point. That's the end of step one. Step two, we want to create a folder to scan to with the name of my scans and create a desktop shortcut to this folder. Click on the start button in the lower left hand corner of your screen. Now click on computer, double click local disk C, and you can either right click in any space, uh, any white space, and highlight new and select folder. This can also be done with this button up here labeled new folder. And we just want to give that folder a name of my scans. Hit enter. Now right click on the folder go to properties left click on the sharing tab now we want to click share now we created a user named bizhub in step one and we want to allow this user to access to this folder so type b-i-z-h-u-b and click add now bizhub only has the rights to read this folder we want to change this so left click on the arrow and select read and write now left click on the share button at the bottom of the screen just be patient it takes just a moment click on done. So now our folder is shared out and BizHub has access to it. Just to make sure he has full access we're going to left click on advanced sharing, click on permissions, now we're going to click the add button. We're going to add BizHub in here as well so type B-I-Z-H-U-B, left click OK, Basically, if that pops up, that's asking you if you're trying to find that user on the domain. And it's a good 
good example that that did pop up. Um, I forgot this time, but basically from this location, we can left click on locations, and we want to change that to the computer. So just select the computer from the top of the list, click OK. Now if we click OK, it'll find BizHub on that local computer. And we want to click full control. Now BizHub has full control of this folder. Now just for left click OK. Click OK again. And we can left click on the security tab at the top just to make sure BizHub is in here and he has full control. So now just close that out. Last thing you're going to do is right click on the MyScans folder. Highlight Send To from the pop-up menu and left click on Desktop Create Shortcut. Now we can close this window and that completes step two. For step three, we need to create a one touch on the copier in order to scan to the computer. Uh, first thing we need to do is get the IP address of the copier. The easiest way to do this is if you're already set up to print, uh, we can go to start and we need to go to the print driver so we either go to devices and printers or if you don't have that we can go to control panel and then go to view devices and printers. Then we find the print driver that we're working with which is the Konica Minolta C220-280-360. We want to right click and go to printer properties from the pop-up menu and select the ports tab at the top and then we're going to mouse over between ports and descriptions click and drag to the right that expands the port column so we can see what we're looking at here. Scroll down and you will find the port that we're printing to which is 192.168.1.66. Go ahead and write that down. Um, we're going to be using that in just a moment. So we can cancel out of that. Uh, we can close this window. Now I'm going to go to the browser now, the internet browser. Um, you can use Internet Explorer. I choose to use Firefox. I think it works a little bit better with our machines. Um, works a little bit better in general. So we're going to open up Firefox. And we're going to go to the top here and select the full address and just delete that. And we're going to type in the IP address 192.168.1.66. Press enter, and then it's going to bring us to the page inside the BizHub C360. Um, the BizHub C360 just has a whole bunch of symbols to click on um, rather than just being named. Uh, if you look at the bottom down here in the status bar, you'll see the name when you mouse over. So this one's job, this one's box, print, ABBR, which stands for abbreviation possibly. Um, that's our address book anyway. We're going to click on this orange symbol um, that goes to our address book and then we're going to click new registration uh, select the bullet next to SMB and click OK. We're going to give this one touch a name. I'm going to use my first name we, uh, which is Jared. We can use um, Office 1. It can be Bob's computer, it could be anything. Um, I'm just going to use my first name and where my name would be found in the alphabet. We're just going to go by first name, so JKL. Um, checking this box next to main puts it on the main screen. If you have less than 10 or 15 people in your office, you know, you could probably put everybody on the main screen. Um, I believe it holds like 15, kind of guessing, but 
if you have a large number of people you might only want to put you know the important people on the main screen you know and the rest of them can just thumb through the address book to find them uh, we're going to use the host name to scan to so please check here to enter host name and to get the host name of your computer we're going to go down to the start button we're going to right click on computer and select properties from the pop-up menu and now our host name is going to be the full computer name Acer that's without the dot high tech office systems dot local we don't want that part we just want the first part before the first dot which is A-C-E-R okay whether or not that's in all caps we always want to put this name in all caps um, it's been known to cause some issues if you don't put it in all caps Now our file path is going to be my scans all lowercase that's the folder we created earlier we named it my scans so that's the file path we're going to use the user ID is lowercase b i z h u b and the password we created if you remember it was exclamation point uppercase p a s s w o r d exclamation point now we're going to click OK address book registration is complete that's all we need to know just click OK and we can go ahead and close this window and that completes step three